Shaggy Devil! Come on! Shaggy Devil! Come on! I'm talking to you! Come on! Come on! That sounds like Danzig. Oh. Like Danzig. Who sang that? Oh, that was uh, fucking Tears for Fears. Cool name. That was Tears for Fears, and then I, and then you said it sounded like Danzig. No, I just, I feel like I just sang it like a Danzig would. Mother, <laughs> mother, tell your children not to walk my tell way. Tell your children not to walk my way. I love that song. Me too, man. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> It's really fun seeing it live. He's like, come on, we're it. And they're like, and the whole crowd's like, ah, ah. <laughs> Have you seen it live? Or you just watched it? Oh, yeah. Guys? Oh, w one of the funniest uh, concerts I've ever been to was Danzig. Uh, Power Trip opened for him. And that's kind of oh, the main wow. reason I went. But uh, Power Trip. And then, also, and then also Venom opened for Danzig. No way. <laughs> yeah, well, it was Venom Incorporated because like, the Black band metal. broke up. But they still play their songs. But, uh. Yeah, exactly. It was like a just a bunch of like sixty to seven year old like disgusting old men who are just like we here. Portland has the most strip clubs. <laughs> but yeah, he, Danzig came out. He's very small, very tiny, short guy, and he opened. He opened with uh, "Twist of Cain," and it was one of the funniest things ever. I love that song. That whole first album is amazing, but the uh, yeah, "Twist of Cain" was very very funny. Oh man, like, it was a good time. Everybody was singing the song. Like the whole crowd was like, oh. Well, I won't. And he's like, little twist okay, by the beat of how you. It's like, it was great. <laughs> he's like, ooh, I can feel it, boo -boo. yeah! Feel it, boo -boo, by the break house of you. He's so <laughs> like Mike fucking was all the way goofy looking, man. Like, have you seen huh? how, what he looks like nowadays? Yeah, he's, well, he's an old dude, you know? He's an yeah, old dude trying to live else, that punk though. rock lifestyle. I feel like we've been conditioned to where old people need to, like, dress a certain way, or else they're just, like, fucking... Weird, you know what I mean? Oh, no, 100%. <clears throat> He's got that weird uh, TRT inflation, though. He does look has. puffy and the, swollen. The little, like, like his whole yeah. back is arched forward. Well, his fucking, kinda, like, his head shape is a, is it like a Dorito? His jaw <laughs> just <laughs> like his, sticks his out. <laughs> no, his yeah, like upside down Dorito. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pr yeah, pretty much his jaw is like, goes so far out. <laughs> which which when you're younger and you're like buff as shit, you probably don't notice because your neck gets thicker, right? So yeah. your, your jaw doesn't come out and look like a pair of like fucking bat wings. It like <laughs> blends in more with your neck. Yeah, I don't know, man. You're doing a Star Wars cartoon? Mm -hmm. For uh, Star Wars Squadrons. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, you guys seem stoked about that game. I, I, want, a, I want a flight stick, bro. I don't think it's going to last. Probably not. My, I think it's going to be fun for like three Sessions, maybe. That's but, fucking worth so, it, though, man. That's yeah. what twenty dollars a a weekend. Right. That's not that bad. You got you you yeah, fucking like, eat like out that many a, times. It's like going to an amusement park. <laughs> yeah, it's like that's pretty good. I think it's fun. gonna be a lot of fun, man. Like you've got these three different. I don't know if we want to talk about Star Wars squadrons on the podcast. <laughs> Is that what we want to talk about? No, no. Well, I I just will say also I'm just not a Star Wars fan, so I, I just fucking like... hate Star Wars. I think it's the gayest shit ever. Yeah, I just rewatched okay. the trilogy. Sorry, with George Lucas. And uh, the original trilogy is good. I mean, it, is it though? It's okay. It's okay. I think it gets. A I lot mean, was the last time you watched it? it. Uh, fairly recently. I hadn't watched. I pro the last time I watched it was probably like when I was eleven or something. I think the I think the only fun one is like Empire, really, for like the old ones. Yeah. Or do you mean? Or you mean one through three? Or do you mean four through <clears> six? Four through six. Say that one more time. Four through six. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the, the originals. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're I good. Empire. You got you got to appreciate, like, how much they introduced. Like, yeah, as a sci-fi no, oh, universe. Absolutely. I get, I get no, that. absolutely. I get that. Absolutely, like, absolutely yeah. All that. Definitely but respect is given. As that. a story, like, if you go back and watch them now, like, nothing happens. It's, like, really weird. Okay, like, that's not true. No, well... <sighs> Present your case. Return of the Jedi. I mean, uh, it's fucking A New Hope, right? Yeah. Luke meets Ben, and then what happens? Spoilers, everyone. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> There's some droids. Luke buys the droids. He meets Ben. Dude, they blow up the Death Star. Okay. He goes from Th that's being... That's, like, very tact on the end, though. Dude, he goes from being, like, a fucking nerf herder mm -hmm. with no prospects to blowing up the Death Star <laughs> in one movie, and you're like, I don't know if enough happens. I think, I th yeah, well, I didn't believe it. I didn't buy it. Tom, you didn't buy it. It's okay. happened too fast. That's the other thing. So like, wait, your problem now is that too much. Why does too quick. Why, why does Lando go from being like like a coal miner to General okay, Calrissian? 
like <laughs> from from the course of one movie. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to shake his head. <laughs> and what? Why does why does Han Solo get to be like a commander all of a sudden, or a captain, or whatever? Do, Han Solo or Lando? They, they both get like these Don, it's a rebellion military. They ranks. don't have like a like a hierarchy of fucking. But what, what promotion? Is it, what is it based on though? So he's a sick pilot. It's, okay. They don't have a lot of people to hand on. They're not the Empire. That's the whole fucking point. By the way, I hate mm. Star Wars, mm. but I will not. I will not s listen to this hogwash. <laughs> I will fight I think it. That, I I think that in terms of like storytelling and think, I think it's fun just because it's a uh, such a classic tale of like the uh, you know just a spaghetti western in space type deal. But the uh, I guess whenever I rewatch it, which it's like it's not. I don't even think it's like the visuals because I I appreciate like. Uh, you know, practical effects, and I prefer, like, when things have cool miniatures that are shot, you know what I mean? Like, I, I enjoy that. I think it's just, uh, it's just, it's just kind of boring. <laughs> like, no, no, I just, I'm just bored by the whole thing. Except, like, you know, uh, like, some of the cheesy schlock that's fun of, like, Jabba, he's just fat as shit, and he's like, <laughs> like, you can't understand what the Very fuck impressive. he says. They're just like, ah, oh, what's he say? Ah, we'll just throw some alien language on him. <laughs> he's just like I don't do that man, 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 man. <laughs> like I always laughed like at that when I was a kid well that was the other problem but then even, the, the stuff but they even have on Disney kid, Plus is the new releases with the CGI stuff yeah like the, oh, that he put out oh, <laughs> did it have the singing lady yeah I oh, forgot about that oh yeah dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, no and I remember even as a kid my, my mom was like this is great because you know she grew up in that time and like it was huge and stuff and uh, she was like, "Oh, this is the this is a great last p part of the movie or whatever." Which well, she didn't say that because she's not a fucking nerd. But uh, but when like Vader, it's like the big climax and stuff. And I always thought that the climax of the Vader fight and everything, I was like, "This is fucking lame." Which it's probably also because I've been like conditioned like as a young, you know, you're from a different time where action movies are so much different. But it was just like something, something different. He kind of like just kind of defeats him, and I was like, I didn't really feel the power of what Vader could be. And then like all of a sudden, he just like lifts up that old man who's like shooting lightning still. He's like, ah! <laughs> and just kind of like hurls him off the side. And he's like, I'm going to die now. He's like, Come on, Dad. That's come on. No, his he's fucking like, no, his no, life no. support systems get fried by the <clears throat> lightning. By the force lightning. Yeah. Come on, Hunter. You guys are. It's just kind of funny. No, I, I remember that, and I appreciated the last fight. Right. Okay. That, that was kind of the funny thing about it is the uh, the like. Or how about they ben figured Kenobi, out? Like, like, yeah, that was the, like, probably the worst lightsaber fight in the entire. Uh, he's like, he's like, it's a rematch, and it's like two seconds <laughs> long, and he's just like goodbye, and like does a magic trick, and like is gone. <laughs> yeah, and that's Vader's just kind of like. Fair also, also like Vader's like kicking his clothes as if he doesn't know what happened. But in like all the trilogies or whatever, they like made it like it happens it's numerous times happening. to where constantly it's just like, yeah. shouldn't he know what the fuck that is? Like, ah, right. oh, damn. Well, yeah, I mean, he just the, like the shit that comes off. He is just, super uh, dumb. he just. Well, the thing is, is I, I know I'm gonna be hounded for this, but I, I enjoy watching the like the prequels more than I do the originals at this point. Like to me, the the first movie, it's just it's so all of it is so funny that it makes it so enjoyable. Yeah, I mean, you, you're like, liking it. You're, I don't think you'll get hounded. I think you're liking it for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing, like, the sheer, like, even, like, going back as some, like, older and, like, you know, because when you're younger, you're blinded by just the CGI and stuff. And, like, it's like, it's aliens, oh. But it's, like, literally just, like, the dub, like, the most boring, like, we have to talk to the Trade Federation. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's, like, all politics. <laughs> it's, like, nothing but straight politics. He's just, like, George Lucas is, like, I think Star Trek had it right about talking about, like, no action, just, like, politics. We'll have some androids roll around, and that'll distract people. It all, like, another great thing is if you go back and look at people criticizing George Lucas after they see the movie, and he's like, yeah, a lot of racist aliens in there. And he's like, I don't see how it could have been, how any of that could have been perceived as racist, and you have the fucking aliens that are like... And I'm just like, oh, the Trader Federation <laughs> is a very good. A good <laughs> and then like, like it's kind of weird that you made Jar Jar Binks like a Jamaican guy, right? He's like, oh, well, I think it's kind of weird how you can consider a, an alien's hair to be uh, mm -hmm. to be dreads, and it's like it looks just like dreads. He's like, me so think like all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, I don't, I don't see how it could have been racist or anything. It's just funny. <clears throat> hey, a, a black guy played Jar Jar Binks. He signed on for that. What was that? A I forgot. Guy? I think it was something like of how there's like a 
There's like a have you never article seen, I read. Have you never seen the behind the scenes with the black guy with the Jar Jar no, outfit, I'm not, I'm not like just like it. dancing and stuff, like break dancing? Okay. No, okay. No. There's a <laughs> That's article. The guy. That's the one I want for Jar Jar. <laughs> <laughs> there was a. I, th I think there was an article right before the newest last movie of Star Wars came out, and it was like how that role ruined, like how that movie ruined like so many people's careers <laughs> in terms of uh, Hayden like, Christensen. I know the <laughs> Like, oh no, the uh, new hey, one, uh, the new one, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. He, they're the old one, the old Anakin, where he's just like, ah, oh, I'm just a kid. I know how to work on parts. I'm smart. My mom's poor. I love her. She's gonna get raped and murdered in the next one by these <laughs> by the savages. sand people, <laughs> by these sand people, <laughs> by sand people. <laughs> the only redeeming Rapist. quality of the sec, the only <laughs> redeeming quality of the second movie is when Hayden Christensen's just disgusting acting. When he gets mad inside the hut, and he like finds his raped and dead mother, and she's just like, "Adney." I think she said something, or she might just be dead when he shows no, up. No, no, she says something. But he's just like, he's like, "No!" And he just like goes out and just starts like <laughs> slashing all these people down. There's like little sand people, like kids that are just like, ah! <laughs> they like run off, and he's just like, he's just like, no, "You won't go away either. You're just a child," and just like slices them in half. And there's really no repercussions for it. Nothing. Nothing at that time. It's I like, mean, nah, I think he's he made the kid. right choice. Is that just me? <laughs> mm, yeah. You find your I, mom I, I, raped I think, and, like, stolen into I think slavery, you, I, you wouldn't I think, kill a few kids? I think kids? that it, it would be, I mean, I understand where you're coming at. It would be very, it would be a tough pill to swallow. But you've also <laughs> been in this, like, monk kind of thing of just being like, well, it's, like, I, I'm at peace now with this. You know what I mean? I... I sh I am mad, but what I'm gonna do is just I don't know, fucking force meditate and get myself back aligned with the universe or whatever. Um, and also, I think that there was like there's a point of revenge and there's a point of just like bl like blatant <laughs> bloodshed massacre of like these children are running around. <laughs> No, no, like, no, no one's those, gonna leave this place. Those children are gonna grow up to be more sand people, Hunter, and rape more mums. <laughs> you sound, you sound like you sound, you sound just like my grandpa. My grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna grow up, aren't you? Animals. Talking about, I'm like, well, you know, maybe they, we shouldn't just drone tech. We shouldn't just drone bomb random parts of the Middle East. He's like, well, they're just gonna grow up to be evil anyways. It's like, I don't think that's really, the, like, I don't think that's really the correct philosophy to have. Um, All right, bro. Course, well, you let your mom you know, get raped and slaved. That's on you. Mine's getting avenged. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna have a nice cup of tea. I'm gonna talk with a, a puppet who's gonna be like, it's okay for your mother to get raped and murdered. Sorry. <laughs> like, okay, Master Yoda, I love you. You're right. Um, but no, the th the third movie is actually like one of. I just think it's a, a great, like schlocky, fun, like funny movie. Overacting, terrible script, and then just like a great fight and stuff. Also, I feel like special effects had just kind of tweaked up a little bit enough to make mm. the visual effects actually pretty pretty good in that movie. But you're talking about the th like the uh, Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. better than the ones that came before it, but not by a whole lot. Oh, yeah, it's still it, definitely. I think it was the redeeming movie, though, of that like trilogy of like how because I think it's universally accepted that Attack of the Clones is like one of the worst, hmm. justifiably like, probably the worst, <laughs> pro probably the probably the worst Star Wars movie by far. Um, but like at least with Revenge of the Sith, the like, the story was at least cohesive i guess and then like now it's just like uh it's just like overacting and it's just a fun time and there's like some cool fights and stuff and it has m m probably one of my favorite endings to a movie ever i you made a cartoon about it in fact <laughs> no yeah i, I, oh, I, no. I, I, I cry laughing <laughs> well, i think every time i hate you oh man the, the, whenever whenever he it's just the part of him jumping off and it's almost so anticlimactic. I mean, he's just like, he's like, he's like, what are you gonna do now, Anakin? I have the high ground. Imme immediately jumps, not even without hesitation, <laughs> jumps up and just gets sliced. And he's just like, Gah! And he just like slides his little potato body slides down the hill. And he's like, get, <laughs> go, go. He's like, go. You're, spo you're, you're supposed to bring the force together, Anakin, not destroy it. <laughs> just like yelling at him. I hate you. And it's like if Obi Wan was a real pal, I feel like he would have walked up and just like cut off his head. Instead, he watches this potato get burned alive, <laughs> and he's just like, ah, he's like, eh, look at you.
It would have been, I guess it would have been more justifiable if it's just like, with all you've done, this is what you deserve, or something like that. You really need to, like, get, get your, like, get it all parallel with itself, Hunter. You're like, don't kill all the sand people. Actually, let him fucking burn to death for five minutes. Like, where are your morals okay. aligning? That, that, is, that is so much more, it, that's so much different, because at this point, he has murdered, like, all these people. So it's like, a, basically, a Hitler-esque type person. And it's just like, you deserve to be burned, and it could be this way of, like, revenge, of being like, you as a person, I used to love you. But this is your punishment of me doing this. Also, you know, this jazz. Not saying, <laughs> not acquitting innocent bystanders. That, that, that is kind of an obvious false equivalence. Yeah. No, it's not. Like their whole culture like, is like, based around raping burn, and Hunter. stealing mothers. That's like their whole deal. <laughs> let, the, let the world burn. Well, I think at a point, it's like, are you going to put, like, you're literally setting like Adolf Hitler, Tom. You're Adolf Hitler. <laughs> it's like, one person did me wrong, therefore they all must be extinct. No, like, no, no, like, no, 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 eradicated no, no. from false, the face of the False world. equivalency. That fucking it's not that that whole culture is based around it. They're like, oh, sand people are here. People are gonna get oh, stolen. Hmm. Justin, you. <laughs> I feel like we need to, you need to you need to really think about what this you're isn't. This here. isn't a fucking real people. This is a sci-fi based people. <laughs> <laughs> That's like George it's Lucas the sand made people. The, the George deserts. Lucas made yeah. them that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you sure did. You sure did get a good laugh though out of sand people though, didn't didn't you? <laughs> That's <earlier>. hilarious. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like I feel like you were acquitting that to something in your real life, weren't you? <laughs> ah. Do they ever touch on what they're actually like? What do they call themselves in their culture, or are they just sand people? I can't. I don't think they ever really. We don't. You're, 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 they're, just, like, <laughs> they're just yeah. the sand people. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you, you, you just have the old white man immediately established in the first movie. He's just like, those are the sand people. Come back in larger numbers. <laughs> and then the young white person's like, who is Watch highly influenced. For them. Who is Watch high, who, for them. The, the, the young Luke mother. Skywalker. The young Luke Skywalker is uh, highly like uh, <laughs> influenced by it. He's like, are you telling me the sand people are bad? Oh, they're horrible. Don't ever listen to them. They're nasty, nasty creatures. <laughs> it looks like they're just kind of doing their own thing. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I stand but by yeah. everything I said. Did you guys see Solo? No. Yeah, why would you waste your life? I was just curious. I, <laughs> I was curious. I, I put it on while I was cooking I hear, or something. But it was interesting. I hear good things about the Clone Wars, the animated show, or the 3D one. I've always heard people the, say that. Oh, the it's 3D like one. Good... I liked the 2D one. It was uh, Gendy. The, the, the Gendy Tartavosky one is yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. but... I've heard that like the the Clone Wars one brings Darth Maul back and it's not as like schlocky or it's fun. I don't know. Oh, did they? Off they give him robot yeah. legs. Well, in Solo, they were setting up uh, <laughs> fucking Khaleesi as like Darth Maul's apprentice, and that was like the big twist at the end. But nobody went to see Solo because it, you know, it looked bad and it was bad. So if that was the trilogy that never was, but that would have been kind of cool. How the fuck does mm -hmm. like uh, Hollywood? have access to all of the best writing talent in the world, mm -hmm. access to unlimited funds, and still put out such fucking garbage. It's the same reason why Netflix puts out fucking hoops, which has been oh, a boy. riveting experience. If you, if you guys have not taken time on Netflix to watch hoops, it might be... It's one of the worst comedies I've ever seen. I gave it like I it, gave it its cold open, and then I hated the oh, intro, dude. and then I watched another thirty seconds, oh. and then I turned it off. Hey, that's what I, I couldn't I did. believe. <laughs> it, it, it felt it felt it felt like a sixteen year old made it, which it's yeah. like if you're a sixteen year old, like oh yeah, he's like I can see how sixteen a sixteen year old would make this, but to have an industry that just is just like this guy has made stuff before, so it should be good. That's the same reason why this other shit gets made of like. Well, I mean, he made this and whatever, and even if those people wanted to like do something creative or be like, oh, well, we should make it, th you know, we should do X, Y, and Z, and they're just like, that's not going to be prof profitable, that's no way. Because at the end of the day, that's all they give a fuck about, is, it, is, is this going to make money? And so if they're like, they're like, ah, oh, it would be cool if we didn't just like make it this huge nostalgia bait the whole time, and like we actually had a fun story that people could like hold on to for the, a new generation of Star Wars fans, and they're just like, yeah, but... We already kind of have a bunch of like Millennium Falcon toys that we can sell, so it's like we should probably just keep the Millennium Falcon in there. And it's like, okay, cool. Well, how about we, you know, uh, you know, Emperor Palpatine's dead. We can, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hold on a second. Um, <laughs> we actually have a bunch of Emperor Palpatine toys as well. <laughs> Hasbro really surprised with all these. Toys. You're gonna just go to their warehouse with all the Hasbro toys, and those are the characters you can use. Like that's pretty much what it is. You know what I mean? 
And then like just being like, oh, people are so nostalgic and Star Wars fans are so fucking retarded in terms of like, they're just like, it's the greatest thing ever. Like the, the amount of like passion behind that is like, we'll make billions. And they did. I Yeah, no, you're totally yeah. right. That explains it pretty succinctly. <laughs> I thought fucking the bounty hunter one was gay as well. Oh, the uh, which one? Was Mandalorian. That? The Mandalorian. Yeah. Everyone's fucking like Everyone, coming yeah, their pants like, over, yeah, and I just didn't get it. I think the first that. episode, if I'm being honest, I was like, "This is fun because there's no Jedi and no Force." But as soon as they introduced like, "Well, I mean, we have to have something to sell." He looks like Boba Fett. We can't just make another Boba Fett look alike. Like we'll put Baby Yoda in there, and then people were like, "Oh my god!" Like that's what ruined it because I was like, "Oh, you kind of just like you kind of like." Are, it's just it was a shame of like you're not taking it seriously like I feel like I would have enjoyed it if if they would have played it straight it could have been a fun campy kind of sci-fi you know bounty hunter oh, western man. show Tom with no he just showed me one no. scene of like the the farmers in the oh world. yeah and that's yeah I just and they, that was like episode one wasn't no, it? no 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 it was like I don't know five or whatever but they like go to this fucking like farming planet where the Imperials are just like dicking over these farmers or whatever mm -hmm. and uh these farmers come to the Mandalorian for help. They're like, please, sir, can you save our farm? The Mandalorian's like, no, what's in it for me? I don't care. And like, it is the most schlocky acting I've ever seen. These farmers like walk away with their heads drooped and go, oh boy, our farm is going to get destroyed and all of the women are going to be raped and oh, I wish someone could save us. And we're and in the middle of nowhere. We're in the middle dark. of nowhere. I don't know how to get there. And then and then the Mandalorian's like, wait, that's his what ears, I've been looking for this his, whole time. His ears perk up. Wait, this is exactly what I wanted. This the is what I need nowhere. to resolve the episode. The middle of nowhere. <laughs> middle of nowhere. It's that's what I need. Defensible. The middle of nowhere. Yeah, and then, and then he goes and does it. You're just like, what the fuck? And How did this happen? They've just got like Luke Skywalker American accents. Just and then, like, well, then he trains them tweets. to like he trains them to beat the fucking <laughs> yeah, AT and T yeah, 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 with yeah. like sticks. <laughs> it's like if we just practice enough katas, <laughs> yeah, we can I, destroy it. Didn't you say they all like do like the martial arts lineup thing? Yeah, they're all like, ha, huh, <laughs> yeah. It's a, uh, it's actually just a giant ad for the Boy Scouts of America. At the end of it, it's like it's like funded by the Boy Scouts of America. <laughs> If we just We're, learn the let's right peel, knots. Let's peel potatoes. It's so dumb, um, dude. I, d I just don't get yeah, how people I, are like, I, I yes! Made it, I, I think it was... I think it was up to the second episode is when Baby Yoda's introduced, but as soon as they introduced that, I was like, yeah, I, I can't. Because then after that, I feel like everybody was just talking about each episode, and I was like, this just sounds... I feel like the opening was actually pretty good. For like an opening episode, I thought it was... I was like, this is interesting, because I thought it was just going to be like, you know, force this. Oh, I... Sorry, but I'm not... A, you know, I'm not... I'm just a, a guy who's like a that works for the Empire. I'm a dick, but you know, I'm just following orders or something like that. But it had kind of a fun, just like Western feel, but had like the, you know, the vehicles of a Star Wars universe. So like, you know, the you know, the planets. And well, there were there were elements races and all. There that. were like elements where I felt like it really shined through. Like when he first sees the, uh, he goes and to get this contract from some Imperials. And obviously it's after the Empire right. has fallen, so they're like, their armor's all kind of fucked up, and they're mm -hmm. kind of uh, in hiding a little bit. And the guy's mm -hmm. like this, like, it was Werner, whatever his fucking name is, and he's kind of this, like, Nazi-esque guy or whatever. Like, there were moments where it looked kind of, like, interesting, but then they just, like, fucking mm. throw it all out. It's just over. He goes, th he, there's that fucking one episode where he's, uh, all of his, like, bounty hunter friends help him escape. <clears throat> And one of them like jets up to the side of his plane and like oh, salutes right. him. Yeah. He's just like, that was for America. <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck just happened? <clears throat> There's the so cool corny. One with the Gatling gun, you know? Yeah. I'm the Gatling gun guy. <laughs> you're just like, okay, cool. Did you hear Netflix is uh, making a Lord of the Rings? The redoing <clears throat> Lord of the Rings. It's, uh, oh, Amazon. It's Amazon. Actually. Dude, I don't want it. Please stop. Yeah, they're not. They're not remaking it. It's no. Like they're a, making a new story. Yeah, yeah. It's like well, in the see, same actually, universe. What I was what, what what I was doing was a bit to be like how shitty that would be, and I had no idea that Amazon was. Making <laughs> <something> <laughs> with the Lord of the well, they are. So fucking continue. <laughs> is well, I was gonna say, do, like, I can see that totally happening though, of them being like, you know, we can make Frodo. Like a, you know, whatever. Like make him this new character. We'll use Margot Robbie as Frodo, and we'll we we already we we'll already do had this. We'll, do it again. we'll make Melissa McCarthy we Sam. Did, we already did this <laughs> on another <laughs> episode. <laughs> but but I but Man, I will say instead on of this that, idea. I will say I can I can actually see some type of streaming service redoing not not really the films but like 
like it's like this is more closer to the books or something like that. And it's like there is no it's way. Like, it's like mm. like seasons. There, there is no way the they will show. ever make it more closer to the books. The uh, I, but I, I I I could I could see them I could see them totally doing that though, and like making like a series out of that. Like they show up they show up to Rivendell and there's like the elf guy. And she's like, who is that? And it like shows him. I I can just imagine like the music swells and he's like standing on top of the waterfall and he's like, I've been expecting you. Duh. Cuts to black. Mm. <laughs> Episode. <laughs> Elrond played by Samuel Jackson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Elrond! I've been expecting you, motherfucker! <laughs> God, he's such a great actor. I love everything he's in. <laughs> It'd be funny if Ian, Mc if Ian McCollum just still played Gandalf and he was just like 140 years old. Shit! We're going to do it, lady. You're my dream. It's like, why don't you fucking take a nap? You've done what you need to do, dude. Or if they got like somebody like really young, or who is just like kind of kind of old. You know what I mean? He's not like a. He doesn't look wizardly. He just looks kind of like he has like a he has like a hipster haircut where it's like shaved on the sides, oh, and he has like the kind of like Don's. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be it's like that. It's Gandalf. Mm -hmm. Oh my, that would be so funny. Wizards. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Wizards arrive when they. Uh, when they mean to, it'd be, it'd be like it'd be such a weird performance saying Jude Law. Or no, I, I, I was thinking Hugh Grant. I was, I was thinking Hugh yeah, Grant. Yeah, Hugh Grant as Gandalf would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, um, so, so 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 very sorry, but uh, a wizard is never late. He arrives when he means to. And then <laughs> Leslie Frones jo Frodo. He's, he's getting up there. He <laughs> can like, tape a beer. Oh, to Gandalf. Was Wesley Jones? What if the guy Wesley Jones is Frodo? Yeah. <laughs> what if the guy who played Sam was Gandalf in the new movies? Oh, Sean Austin <laughs> no, nice, Scott, or whatever nice. his name is. Is that his name? Yeah, something like that. He was in Stranger Things. That would be great. Yeah. Made a comeback. That'd be pretty Stranger funny. That, yeah, they could do like, like a stupid little homage thing. You yeah. get one of the actors who was younger at the time to play the uh, older thing, and it's like right, this nice right. thing. Like, oh, I oh, that's nice. It's nice they did that. Do you think that they would have that British guy play yes. Bilbo who played it in The Hobbits, or do you think they would have like Elijah Wood replace like? an older face playing Bilbo, and it's just kind of like, oh, he played Frodo in the old movies. I just don't want them to do this, man. <laughs> this is hurts to even Dude, meme they, about. See, they fucking might in like 20 years. Oh, of course they will. Of course they fucking crazy. will. Oh, they Nothing will, good yeah. can yeah. stay good. It has mm. to be fucking besmirched and but, ruined. But to be fair, like I, f I feel like War of the Rings was our generation's Star Wars, and it was way better than Star Wars. Mm -hmm. And they still haven't remade the original Star Wars. Like how long? To, I feel like War of the Rings has at least as long as Star Wars does. I well, feel it's because the I, story, I feel like, like Star. Um, well, well, also Star Wars is like Kiss at this point. It's a brand, mm, right? That's true. It's like uh, the, you, have the, like, staying power. the thing is, is like they will, they'll never remake those ones because they don't have to because they're, they're just more. remaking yeah. it right. in a different way. Yeah, yeah. Like they can just like retell the same story in a different way, and they know people will show Luke's up. Luke's a girl right? this time. Whereas, like, you can't do that with Lord of the Rings because it's just a great story. Mm. It's like a great story because it needs three films to like experience this whole journey. Right, mm -hmm. and it's like you can't. You, it's not like you can make another fucking Eye of Sauron. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, they remade another Eye of Sauron. <laughs> they built another like, one. Sauron like, cloned himself. <laughs> Where's the closest goddamn volcano? Dude, I could... We have to drop this ring. Could... Stop by K Jewelers and grab a, a ring. We have to fucking go back and. It just wouldn't work. I could kind of see it. Like yeah, this, no, I, could, I, I, I could start to write the story in my head. I'm like a producer in Hollywood. I'm like, hmm, yeah. actually, mm. scratch, scratch, oh, scratch. My god. This is gold. This is they built it under. It's underground. The Eye of Sauron. And this Soon. time, it gasses people. <laughs> get Mar get, get, get Martin it Scorsese. gasses the people of Middle Earth. <laughs> Gets Martin Scorsese to direct it, and it becomes like a Martin Scorsese film where there's like the nair, like the VO over it, like really nice shots, and it's like all Italian guys. And it's based in New York. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> we're doing this again. Yeah, yeah we're going. We're, 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 we're the in New York. <laughs> We've done this before. Wait, just, uh, we're all like identities. podcast addicts, yeah. and we're already rehashing yeah. shit. <laughs> well, anyways, I was gonna say, I will say, Tom, you, you brought up, or was it Don? I can't remember. One of you guys brought up the Christian Bale movie. Is it Equilibrium? Yeah, man, love it, or, or whatever. Right. I've been wanting to. I, I've been looking more. I feel like every day I find myself looking up stills from it, and just his like duster or his like outfit, where it's like a, you know, it looks like a futuristic kind of suit, and he's just like. Just karate movie or whatever. It looks, uh, I, I need to watch Have it. you never seen to... it? <clears throat> no, I've never seen it either. What are you talking about? I need some of that You've never seen Equilibrium? Ah, oh. Mm -mm. oh, it's great, dude. 
It's a little dystopian. The... It's got some fucking sick kung fu shit. Is that the stupid thing don't... Stamper always does you, gifts about? You watch your mouth. Don't You're thinking don't... about Demolition Man, which no, is... No, Stamper always does gifts with Christian Bale with Oh, yeah, it is. It is. It okay. is. No, and understand. don't you besmirch his good name. <laughs> it's so fucking sick. All right, let me let, let me let out for you. So, like, World War Three has In happened. World. Right? Mm. And, and the society decides emotions are bad. So everyone has to take, like, a serum to stop having emotions. And there's these Wasn't like Wasn't that Demolition Man? No. No, it's Equilibrium. God, I hate you. Okay. Um and maybe then, I have seen Equilibrium. Okay. I don't oh, know okay. how I could get them mixed up if I hadn't seen it, so maybe Small brain. Maybe. But the, the oh God, I had such a good flow going, you fucking stomped me out. <laughs> yeah, they 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 stop having emotions to stop mm -hmm. like bad things. And there's like the police in that world or like the fucking inquisitors almost. Uh like look out for people who haven't been taking their serum and start displaying emotions. So you have people trying to hide to the fact that they're emotional and stuff. Super badass. Here's where it gets elevated. <laughs> In this world, shooting people with guns normally is not enough. They learn like martial arts based around guns. So they do like gun catters. They've got like pistols and they're like swishing around. And like when people get in fights, they're like just like millimeters from shooting each other in the head. But it's like a block. So it's just fucking badass, dude. It's sick. <laughs> And anyway, it's it's just like the greatest movie of all time. That's all I can say. Sounds like Wanted. Have you seen Wanted? Yeah, want, Wanted actually, I, f I feel like Wanted surprised me when I saw it for the first time. I actually didn't mind really, it for really, as really stupid terrible. as the bullet th thing I, I, is. I, I, yeah, exa it's like so oh, well, like I don't think, I think it, it, yeah, it, yeah, the, the curve, yeah, the yeah, or whatever. It, it, it like it doesn't be. it doesn't take itself seriously. Like I feel like there's a lot of comedic aspects to it as well. But no, this movie Equilibrium is reminding me of like the great like from 2001 to 2005, the amount of amazing like schlocky action movies there were. I guess it was from like the 90s too, like 99, because Blade came out and kind of started. I think kind of futuristic or weren't just so like. You know, Fast and Furious, where it was so grounded, or not grounded in reality because it's not, but I mean, like, there was more of like dystopian future. Yeah, or, like, yeah, yeah. Werewolf, like, lichens and vampires, like, yeah, Underworld. I always love that yeah. one. Also, there was like that one movie that now that you've told about Equilibrium and stuff, it was with the chick from Resident Evil. She was an ultraviolet. And I remember as a kid, I was like, this movie is so sick because she has like this fucking like relic sword that has like all these inscriptions on it. But also, the way she gets her guns is like, this like virtual database thing. So she just has like millions of guns that she can choose from and then she like, grabs it and it like comes into like the, uh, it like materializes into reality. Like it looks pretty sick. Why do you think it, like that kind of shit went away? Did audiences change like, or did his producers change? The same, the same reason that uh, like a lot of, it's just, it gets overdone to death. It's kind of like the same reason slasher movies fell out of sort of style because so many people do it and it becomes so like, exhausting being like oh god another one of these movies you know what i mean so then something happens where the shift changes and that becomes the new like people want to do that i mean we're like a decade like, deep into that. seven cape movies a year people still seem to want more the, i i think well i'll tell you something else i think that we've been conditioned to want remakes and sequels and stuff right also, at least with the marvel universe they're playing off something that has been around for like 60 plus years or something mm -hmm. that's already popular. So it feeds off of that like, oh, I want to see this because I like this movie and it feels different enough because it's a new character. And then the way that they intertwined everything to be in the same universe and it came together, it was like this perfect, like the planets align type deal, you know? They will, I, I can tell you right now, they will never be able to do that again. I, I know they're, they're making more movies, but no one's going to give a fuck because like Robert Downey Jr. <coughs> was the big... Oh yeah, it's over. Big Kahuna, Well, they've, they've right? already, they've already like, burned oh. through the ones that anybody cares about. You know, like the, the right. core Avengers, they, they basically killed and wrote them off, and they're going to try to do like these side characters no one's ever heard Dude, of. Dude, they're just going to bring them back. What makes you think they're not just? How, how many times has Spider Man been reborn? How long do you think it's going to take? But, but, and plus, I think it would take a see, long time before anyone would accept anyone other than. They're Robert just going to wait till he dies, right? And they're going to remake him like Tupac. Yeah, but it's going to be like 20, 30 years from now. That won't not be if fucking yeah. Marvel's got <laughs> anything to say about it. <laughs> I'll make it look like an accident. Mm hmm. I think uh Proper piano on him. I don't know. I think that uh we're just in this time of like at least with the Marvel movie things, the Iron Man being successful, that was the first like ever huge successful comic book movie. Like he had Blade, but like no one really knew that Blade was like a comic book character. Spider Man. You know what I mean? Sp yeah, Spider Man. Spider Man though was that like while those movies were successful for the time, it wasn't as like huge as like when Iron Man came out and set up this like 
superhero movies can be badass, not you know like cheesy or like not nerdy. It's not nerdy to like superhero movies. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love the old Spider Man movie, like Sam Raimi. I like, like I think it's like a fun time, but like in terms of like the public morale or like the Perception. public's view. The public's view on like superhero movies was still like, oh, only fucking nerdy kids will want to go see Spider Man. Like, who the fuck? Whereas the, the, with the new Marvel Universe, it became something like it took itself really seriously and still had like some comedic stuff. And then uh, people were like, this is badass. Like, Iron Man's suit looked like it didn't look all cartoony or anything. Did you know how much like nerd rage I get? The like, it's now acceptable to like all this shit. When I was a kid, <laughs> you were fucking. <laughs> You were picked on for that. Yeah. And now my fucking sister, who never liked a nerdy thing in her life, has, like, fucking Iron Man plastered mm. on her wall. Like, she had to go through the through the torment. They didn't do their time. They did not do their time. They just let us build it, and then they take it. That's all it is. <sighs> just like 40k. Just well, like 40k. People that, play War pe people that play Warhammer are still going to get picked on for being... No, 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 no. Ah, that's, that's right, you're wrong. That's all changing, Hunter. <laughs> oh, is yeah. it? Well, I guess that's true. I guess it's you know it's becoming more of a social norm now too, as uh, Dungeons and Dragons become. It's, yeah, I mean Dungeons like Dungeons, Dragons. they they have eliminated races <laughs> from Dungeons and Dragons. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Oh, did they? Yeah, no, there's no. Know. You're not allowed to ha call them like races. What are they called now? Fuck, Peoples? I don't know. Conglomerates, people, communes. Right. Who fucking knows? Well, there's still like a you know there's a species delineation because you have like demon people and like but I bet they would just call them like people or something. Well, you're not allowed to have uh, inherently, or like they've changed it so that you can't have inherently evil races inherently now either. Evil races. <laughs> races. So like orcs are like, right? They're not evil. They're oh not, my because God. everybody knows I that the orcs. Well, this brings it all back. Meant to be, you know. Well, this brings it back to knows. the sad wait, people wait. conversation. Yeah. Now you get it. It's not they were created to just be evil. Yeah, but, there's no nuance in it. But it is. It's not the same as like a real world comparison. It is, it is funny. It is funny. You have like it is planet it, Afghanistan <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with the white people hanging out, you know, and the poor and the poor and the we poor. We don't go like, over there in that rocky that region. There. That's where the sand people are. <laughs> they wave their guns over their heads. <laughs> You're like there'll be more. There'll be greater number. <laughs> they breed like fucking rabbits, Luke. And and then there was like the Jewish uh, like bug monster that like sold like Anakin. <laughs> he's like his property. He's like, uh, with it with it with a I New York uh, accent. I, I don't yeah. know if I yeah, could yeah. sell him for that. <laughs> I don't know. Oy, I don't know if I could actually sell him for this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just yeah. I forgot about him. Yeah. It's hilarious. <laughs> I, and I like how like mind the mind control like doesn't work on him. Nose. And his and his yeah. and his <laughs> nose is huge. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, where was the defamation league in two thousand one? <laughs> 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 then the the <laughs> They're like, listen, George, we like Look you. At this, uh, you did all this Nazi the, shit in the uh, 80s. We really liked that. Blowing up the Nazis. So That was great, but listen. Have, we'll give you one. You can, <laughs> you Watto, is a, Watto's a real problem. <laughs> I uploaded some pictures from the ultraviolet thing. And it's just so cheesy. I love it. Like a, the, the evil guy's head base or like headquarters is a uh, is like a radiation pentagon. Like headquarters. I, I missed that one too. I never saw. I liked the Underworld. I never saw this one though. Oh wow, this looks annoying. There's as a fuck. Wow. And then there, and then there's her with uh, these Uzis that have like 200 round <laughs> clips. Oh, is that in what them? that is? And it's also a sword. <laughs> it's a clip and a sword. No. Right. I mean, it seems to be what it is. Or no, they're just swords. Oh, it's not. She has this one gun. Okay. Does she have swords on the she bottom has, of her she, Uzis? Yeah, that's what that is. It's a blade. Yes, so she can stab them and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking badass, this came out. Dude. This came, I think this came out in 2004, 2005, something like that. Yeah, I I saw but it's a, like trailer when I was a kid. I thought it looked gay. Did you see the Fifth Element? It, uh, I always liked the Fifth Element. Oh I yeah, mean, I, I like love the Fifth Element. I don't know if it's on the same. Wasn't it the 90s? Oh, it's so good. It's the same era. Yeah, no, I'm just saying it's like not in the same mm. league as like Underworld and Aeon Flux, or whatever. <clears> as like <throat> a oh, schlocky. That's like an right. actual classic, you know. Yeah. I kind of want to go back and watch yeah. Underworld though. I forgot about this. I think that Fifth Element is like considered like schlocky but i think it's like, good. yeah like i think really that like way. like I, like it's i think it's a, another movie that doesn't take itself too serious like with like the aliens and stuff and how bulbous and goofy they look <laughs> and they're like just giant like costumes like walking around 
And you got fucking Chris Tucker in like a weird onesie. <laughs> as like a, oh yeah, it's like thing. a gay guy basically. Or even even just Gary Oldman. Oh, Gary Oldman, I love him as. You know what actor, the weirdest like, part was guy. though was. Uh, but his fucking his haircut and his like who's, weird who's plastic Gary piece he wore on his head. Again? This guy. I don't remember that guy. I, he's not like the main villain. Oh uh, yeah, it's just a weird angle. Yeah, he is. He's the yeah. he's the big traitor. Right. He's like the he's like the guy trying to you know the business the bad business. What man, happened to so Chris Tucker, dude? Because like in Rush Hour. He was the fucking he, man. He was on Epstein. He was on Epstein's plane. He got all those allegations. Oh, right? is that what happened? All right, I retract my statement. Yeah, him and Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was the him, best. Him, Chris Tucker, Chris Tucker, and Kevin Spacey were on the same flight as Jeffrey Epstein in his plane to his island. Who's that? And if you know Kevin, Kevin Spacey is uh, known to be a pretty good guy too. So yeah, Kevin I'm Spacey. Sure he's my just... favorite. What happened to that guy? I've been waiting for season four of House of Cards for mm. ages. Yeah, what's House of Cards gonna come back and he can do like another weird creepy monologue and upload it to that YouTube? That was so fucking character. funny. Did you see that, Don? No. So when you? so when the allegations yeah, came oh. out that Kevin Spacey was like a gay rapist, mm -hmm. like he lost obviously House he of was, Cards. He was a rapist and he was gay. Yeah. 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 No, he's yeah, a gay go, gay go rapist. Just, just... But anyway, like he um he upload he lost House of Cards and he uploaded this creepy video to YouTube where he plays like Frank and it looks like it's made in like iMovie. The audio is kind of like shit, and he's like, "But you know, you know, people lie. You know, people make things up." He, he does the voice. He does the too. voice. He plays a character. He like does House of Cards. No, no, he, oh my he, god, I he is seen Frank this. Underwood. I, I put a, I put a link. I put a link in the deal. The video is called "Let Me Be he's, Frank." He's, he's it's fun. called "Let Me Be Frank." It's Santa Claus apron, dude. He's literally like, "You and I know that people make things up. You can't oh, trust right. what you because hear." He, because he, he uploaded it on Christmas Eve. It was so weird. Let me be frank. What the great title. What a hero. I told you my deepest, darkest secrets. You wouldn't believe the worst without evidence, would you? You wouldn't rush to judgments without facts, would you? <laughs> That's what I mean. It's like iMovie shit. Wow. It's like st he's like searched in the stock the stock section for like evil music. Da, 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 da. That is <laughs> three days ago with uh, 27 upvotes. Someone said, "Anyone watching this in 2020 realizing that all three of his rape victims committed suicide? <laughs> also, that he's closely linked to Jesse Maxwell." <laughs> Let me be. Let frank. me be frank. Hey, that's kind of cool though. Kevin Spacey hit 101,000 subscribers. He's gonna get his plaque. <laughs> he's gonna get a nice little YouTube plaque. <laughs> we should we should my, all uh, oh collab my. with Kevin Spacey. Maybe he needs some bigger bigger channel to help him out. Mm -hmm. My oh my. Did he do another one? In Frank yeah, still? December. Now this year? Yeah. Another one. You didn't really think I was going to miss the opportunity to wish you a Merry Christmas, did you? I've made some changes in my life, and I'd like to invite you to join me. I want to cast my vote for more good in this world. He, did, he does it again! He sound again! He did the sound again! <laughs> What's the title of this video? K Wait, at, at the end? KDWK. That's that's fascinating. I feel like just one by one, all of the people that you know used to admire just kind of will unravel. You know, Tom Hanks is definitely next. <laughs> after after he got the coronavirus too, he got the coronavirus and he's okay and he's just like we survived. And it's like Tom Hanks revealed to have four Puerto Rican boys in his basement. <laughs> Tom Hanks raped Bubba on the set of Forrest Gump repeatedly <laughs> until Bubba actually killed himself and had to be written out of the film. <laughs> Links to Jesse Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein have been found. You're like, God damn. You're like, oh, Tom Hanks as well. Motherfuckers had a grip on everybody. <laughs> Don, what would you what would you guess Hunter's like fall from grace is going to be? <laughs> what are they going to find in his closet? Grand wizard costume, obviously. That's true. I mean, that's everyone already knows about that. That's you're like gonna, a given. You're going to be, you're going to be, no, 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 but this was good. You're going to be streaming. <laughs> I did it once. You're going to be streaming. I did it once, okay? I didn't like it. You're going to be making a Hey Arnold cartoon. <laughs> and in the background, your closet's going to be open and there's going to be like a little red sleeve with a nice patch on it. And somebody's going to screenshot it and do a bunch of research. <laughs> And the Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, sorry guys. Yeah, my closet was open and my my grand wizard outfit was uh peeking out of my closet. Usually I have that hidden away. It's, it's like, I don't know, maybe I just wanted to get caught. <laughs> <Something like that. laughs> how how are you gonna play it off when people find out about the outfit? Like what's your what's your Frank Underwood? What are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna do exactly what he did. I'm gonna Deepen my southern accent even more. I'm gonna poke a fire for about three minutes, <laughs> and then I'm gonna in the costume. And I'm gonna end on it. <laughs> I'm like, you might have seen that I had a Ku Klux Klan outfit. Well, that doesn't mean that I'm a racist.
sure, I've been to some meetings and burned some crosses. But well, that doesn't mean I'm like, just like keep reiterating that I ever... just keep going further and further into it. Yeah, exactly. My daughter. Is that, that, how, first off, how old am I when this happens? I'm gonna go with like fifty. My daughter brought home a Pakistani boyfriend, and I told her no. That doesn't mean I'm racist. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all this different kind of stuff. We were like, and it's like, yeah, it's something. Uh, my response would be something that would probably just bury me farther down into the ground. Dude, you would look so I, funny I like in how, a clown outfit. Well, we already we established this on a previous episode. With what do you have to search? Like Ku Klux Klan cost or, or something? There was a motherfucker that looked exactly like. Oh yeah. Thing. Let's just say this. Did the man look like me? Yes. Is it hard to look like me? No. <laughs> you should just be obese, have greasy hair and a mustache, and be white, and I'm pretty sure that you're, <laughs> you can look just like me. I don't know, man. It was very convincingly yeah, you. Yeah, Italiano eyes. All right. We're, 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 we're having fun. We're having fun. Let's not spread. <laughs> we blatantly sent it to him, dude. I bet if you scrolled up in our Discord chat, it would be there. Uh-oh. We're coming. Oh, yeah. We're, we're here we coming go, in. We oh, wait. No, no, no. It's got to be. There's, here's the. Yeah, it's not here. Yeah, we have the pictures from before, but we, oh, you don't there have is, the. Uh... There's a lot of KKK stuff in this thread. But <laughs> nothing that looks like Hunter. I think you deleted that picture. Okay. And first off, just to somehow. reiterate to people, there was a context to why we have this. You in know, our chat it, it is stuff. mysterious that this picture is scrubbed from the internet. <laughs> uh, hey, all right. We're having fun. We're having a good time. Let's just. Let's, <laughs> let's all just. Uh, let's, hold, let's hold on a second. Okay. And, this uh, isn't the fixed picture, but that's yeah. <laughs> another hunter. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's that's not as close though. That's kind There's of. There's so many hunters like, in the, the clan. Other, the other one was literally a picture of Hunter. That's just like a guy with a mustache. I don't think I'm going to yeah, find it's, this it's, picture because Hunter scrubbed it from Google. <laughs> I I was like, get it out of there. <laughs> How did that get up there? It's right to be forgotten laws. Found it because I'm fucking awesome. How'd you find it? KKK Grand Dragon. It's like okay. So you search KKK Grand, Grand Dragon, Dragon, which I told you to search earlier, but you refused. <laughs> you never said Grand Dragon. Fucking did. You said Grand Wizard. Oh, yep, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how far down do you scroll? Oh man, no, it's like right at the top. It's right at the top, kind of. It's like it's on the second row in Google Images. Save that picture. <laughs> <laughs> it looks just like you did. <laughs> 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 On that note, I feel like we can end this episode. I feel like that. I feel. I feel, I feel like. I feel like. I feel like we're we gotta. Good. We gotta put this up as the ending screenshot on the YouTube video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for context. <laughs> well, is that like a trout? I, one of those trout I'm things a, in the background? Are you like press the button. Yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, like, it, 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 it's a. It's a stuffed trout asshole. <laughs> Makes for good it's, decorations. It what uh, what song does it sing? Yeah, it, it, it sings a song. <laughs> No, that, 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 that's probably one that he. That's probably one that he Dreaming actually. Uh, he probably actually caught. It, oh, did, I did he it catch that? that? Like... How how much did it weigh? Yeah, that's, that's definitely yeah, how, how much did it weigh. Yeah, that's that's way. That we fish that he sure. caught. Okay, guys, <laughs> we're we're having fun. We're having a good time. I just want I want you to know that I want you to know members of our uh, of our uh, listener base here that this man is not me. It's staggering how much it looks like me. Okay, he's the kid. I will say he's more clean cut than I am, and uh, he's obviously from a. It, this has to be 40 years ago. So I was, I was not alive. Just keep that in mind. God damn it. I'm stopping recording. This is, this is, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. See you, see you, everybody. See you next week. <laughs>